so guys have you noticed that users love to see the data in terms of charts pictures images or visuals you can say so hi i'm lokesh kapoor and you are watching droid crunch and in this video i am going to tell you how you can use the data in charts using dynamic charts widget of dynamic.2 plugin so let's get started so first of all you need to search for dynamic chart in your widgets and here it is so let's drag and drop so here you can see all the types of charts that you can utilize this bar chart line chart radar the fault pie okay and you can then select the input type whether it's simple or csv with simple you can select the data you can input it manually uh, with comma like you can separate the labels with comma and the same with data for each of your labels okay so america 95 97 africa 1277 in terms of millions its population okay and then you can also do the same using uh, csv like you select the csv then you have option to whether choose from url or text area so let's start with the text area how to create the csv you can create csv online or using any spreadsheet software so i will prefer to use csv using online software for now so here i have saved my template so i can start from new one as well by using this again what you have to do just write your name i will say dynamic chart and then you have all these uh columns and you can say and then you can delete which ones you like and then you have this first name there type first name you can add field of marks and then you can select it to be integer from 1 to 100 and then format csv rows probably only 10 file one my file you can set time and pretty in much the same and then let's click on generate csv file has been generated and you can see your data right there you can copy this for text area go to your csv paste it and you can see the chart but what why it's showing this rough chart is 76 53 so it is not mapped correctly right so what do i do is go to input choose a comdex for the labels i will say one and for data i will say two why because when you see it so these are rows one two three four five six seven eight these are columns first name and marks so there are two columns first name and marks first name is your label marks is your data so in uh, column number one we have labels in column number two we have marks right so labels column text number is one and for data it is two so we mapped our content and we have this header first name and marks so we made it uh, set it that our csv has a header right and uh, if it's not having a header you can copy this from here copy this and let's paste it now you can see it is different right but when we click on this it would be same because we said that this csv is not having a header now right so this works like that and you can also upload your csv file 
so you can download this csv now it's downloaded you can upload it on your media library or anywhere then you can get this url and paste this url using url and then paste okay you got it now you can uh, also do all these changes right you can also do some manipulations for your label set it uppercase and you can also set timestamp to date if it is in terms of side no, timestamp your labels otherwise you can keep it to lower uppercase only okay and then you have some options to begin at zero or you can give it some grace to starting for the setting point okay so this is how it is going to work and you can uh, utilize it for you know for your dynamic csvs you know that change over time and uh, you can also style the height of it you can set the random colors for background and border and you can set the border width okay so like this one this width so one looks pretty interesting and uh, interface looks quite clean so this was all for this video thank you so much